Yo, what's going on gang? Welcome to your fourth WebSockets tutorial and in this video we're finally going to start creating the chat application and start emitting messages using Socket.io. Okay, so where are we so far? Well, in the last tutorial, we set up socket.io on the front end. We also set it up on the server as well. So we've got it set up on both sides now. And when we're in a client, a browser, and we request the index page from the server, it sends it us. Then we set up this WebSocket connection between the two. So now we can start transferring data between the two different things, the server and the client. So we're in a position now where we can start fleshing out the chat application here then entering some information, some different chats into this application, sending that data through the WebSocket to the server, the server will receive it, then it will emit data down every other WebSocket that it's connected to, to all these different clients around here. So it'll send it back down to the front end where we can handle it and then display it in the chat to everyone viewing the chat room. So let's start fleshing out this chat room then. The first thing I want to do is get rid of this junk, this H1, and instead we'll create a div with an ID of Mario chat. Okay, cool. So this is going to encompass the whole thing. Then we want a div with an ID of chat hyphen window. This is going to be the window where everything's displayed. And then also we want another div inside this with an ID equal to output. And this div right here is where the data is going to get displayed. So when in one client we send a message, the server receives that, then it emits that message to the rest of the clients. So the front end then will handle that, receive that message and output the messages here. OK, so they're going to be inside this div. OK, so now underneath the chat window, what do we want to do? Well, we need two input fields, one for their name or their handle and one for the message they want to send. So the first one, input ID equals handle. And then this is going to be of type equal to text. OK, we also want a placeholder and that's going to be equal to handle. OK, cool. So now we've got an input for that. We also want an input field for our message. So let's do another input with an ID this time equal to message and then a type equal to text. And then we also want a placeholder for this one as well. So we'll say placeholder is equal to message. Cool. So now we've got our two input fields as well. Finally, we just want a send button to click when we want to send this message. So we'll do a button with an ID equal to send like so. And then we'll give that a text of send as well. Cool. So now we've created this HTML. Now what we want to do is start editing the JavaScript, the chat.js, which also lives on the front end, which is going to help us interact with this. So when someone enters in a message and clicks send, what we're then going to do is emit a message down the WebSocket from this JavaScript file, which can be received on the server. Now, before I do that, let's just take a look what this looks like in a browser so far. So I'll refresh over here and now we can see that chat room and it looks like this because of the styles we've already pasted in there. So nothing special at the minute because if we type something in here and here, click send, nothing is actually happening. OK, so let's add in that functionality and start emitting that message from the client to the server. So then the first thing I want to do is start querying the DOM and storing some variables. So references to different things in here. I want to get a hold of this, the handle, the message, and also the send button right there. And also, to be honest, this output, because that's where we're going to output the messages. So I want a handle into all of these different things because we're going to interact with each of those four components. So we'll create variables for each one of those. So I'm going to create a little comment which says query DOM. We're going to do all that stuff down here and I'm just going to paste this in from my GitHub repository rather than type them out by hand. But I'm creating four variables, message, handle, button and output. And each of these are equal to document.getElementById and we're passing in the ID of each of these four elements on the page. So if we go to the index, we can see we've got handle, message, send and output. So they're the four things we're getting, message, handle, send and output. And we're storing those elements now in variables. So now we can use them to kind of interact with them. Now, the first thing we want to do is emit an event when someone clicks send. So let's do another comment saying emit events. And then underneath this, we'll get the button variable. Oops, all oh, this is weird capitals. So emit events. And then we need the button element. 
and we want to say add event listener. So I'll say add event listener. So this is vanilla JavaScript for listening for particular events. Now we want to listen for a click event. So when someone clicks this send button, we want to do something. So in parenthesis, we're listening for the click event. And then when someone's clicked it, we need to fire back a callback function. Okay, so all this so far is just vanilla JavaScript. So inside this callback function, what do we want to do? Well, we want to emit an event or we want to emit a message so that we can receive it on the client. We want to send it down the WebSocket. And the way we can do that is by saying socket, and that's this thing up here. We created that socket when we said io.connect. So we can get that socket now and we can say dot emit. And this is going to emit a message down the WebSocket to the server. All right. So this emit function takes two parameters. And the first one is going to be the name of the message. What do we want to call this? Well, it's going to be a chat message. So let's call it chat. And the second parameter is going to be what the actual message is or the data that we're sending to the server. OK, so this is going to be an object that we're sending to the server. So curly braces. And inside this object, we're going to have two parameters. First of all, the message. Secondly, the handle. So the message is going to be this thing up here, message dot value. And that's going to get the value of this input field, this message field, right? And the second thing we want to send is the handle. So we'll say handle is handle. That's this variable right here, dot value. So dot value. And that's going to grab whatever's in the handle box, right? And then what we're doing is emitting this chat message so that's going to go to the server down the WebSocket and send this data to the server, right? So, I mean, if we do this at the minute, then nothing much is going to happen, right? Yeah, it's sending the data, but then when we get to the server, it's not actually doing anything with the data. So what we need to do now is handle this message on the server. So let's go to our server side code, this index.js file, and let's handle this. So inside this function, this callback function. Remember, we call this function right here when a connection is established, right? So inside this function, what we can do now is listen for that message being sent to us from the client, that chat message. And the way we can do that is by saying socket dot on. OK, so this socket refers to that particular socket between the server and the client that is sending the message. So the socket dot on. And then on the chat message, that's listening out for that chat message coming into the server. Then what we want to do is fire a function. And we receive the data that we send. So the data was this thing right here, this object, right? So we're sending this from the client. Then on the server, we're listening to this socket. And when we receive that chat message, we're going to fire a callback function and take in that data object that we sent. Okay. So let's just think for a minute. What do we want to do when we receive it from the client to the server? What do we then want to do with this message? Well, we want to send it out to all of the different clients connected to the server on a WebSocket so that everyone viewing the chat room can see that message, right? So the way we can do that is by saying IO dot sockets. And this is going to refer to all of the sockets that are connected to the server. So say there's five different browsers viewing the chat room. All of those have their own individual socket. This sockets collection right here is referring to all of those different sockets, right? And then what we're going to do is emit a message to each one of those. So we can say dot emit again. And again, we need to say what type of message we're sending back to the clients. This is going to be a chat message again. And then we're going to send the data we received from the first client that sent the message. And we're going to send that back to all the different clients. OK, so we can send that back here as a second parameter. So now what we're doing is from the client, we're inputting some data here, click and send. That's emitting a message along this socket between this client and the server. It's sending that chat message, this data right here. The server then receives that. It's listening out on that socket for a chat message. When it gets that chat message, it's emitting this function. Sorry, it's firing this function and we're receiving the data that was sent. Then what we're doing is we're saying we're getting all sockets and we're emitting an event or a message down all sockets. That is the chat message and we're going to send the data back to all sockets.
So now what we can do is in the front end, when we receive this one, we can handle it and output it to the screen. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, in the front end, what we can do is come down here and we can say, listen for events. And then what we're going to do is listen for events on the front end. And the way we do that is by saying socket. And that's that individual socket for this client. Okay, we defined it right here. Socket dot on. And we're listening for the chat event from the server or the chat message. Then we can fire back a callback function on the client side with the data. And inside here, we can do something with the data, like output it to the DOM. So I can say now output. That's this variable right here, which refers to that output div in the HTML. So I can get that and I can say dot inner HTML to assign some different HTML to that div. So we're going to say plus equals. So whatever it is currently, I want you to add this to the HTML, right? So this is going to be a string. We're going to output a P tag, not in capitals, and then a strong tag. And then what we're going to do is tack on some of the data. So data, and that's this thing we received right here from the server, dot, and we had a handle property, which is here, remember? So we're going to output the handle first of all, which is their name. Then we're going to tack on again a string colon and then strong we're going to close that strong tag off then what we're going to do is output the actual message so again we can say plus to add on some more data we're going to add on data dot message and then plus again this uh, string and it's going to close the p tag okay so now when we refresh over here if we add in a name let's say i don't know ninja whatever and a message yo if we click send let's just quickly go through the steps again when we click send this event listener is listening for that click it's saying okay grab the socket between this client your client the browser and emit a chat message okay and send it to the server i want you to send this data along with that message so the server is saying okay well i'm listening to all my sockets when i hear that chat message sent to me i'm going to fire this callback function and i'm going to receive that data and pass it to this function so then what it does is say okay i'll grab all of my sockets to whichever clients are connected to me and emit that chat message and i'm going to send back the data i received to all of the different clients then in the front end in the different clients we want to then output it to this chat window so we say okay well, in the front end, I'm going to say socket.on chat. So we're listening for that chat message coming back from the server. We're going to fire this callback function, which is taking that data that comes with it. And we're going to output this data to the inner HTML of the output div in the DOM. OK, and we're outputting the handle and the message. So let's give this a whirl and cross our fingers. Click send. Now we get this in the chat window. And if I add this to a different tab, then let's try again. Let's go over here and I'll say uh, this time, I don't know, peach. And we'll say, woo. If I click send, then it shows here and also here. Cool. So now we've got our basic chat functionality working by passing data from the client to the server, then back from the server to all different clients. Okay. So in the next tutorial, we're going to take this one step further and add on that little peach is writing a message thing right here.